Yo and hello everybody, Mike here, Baseball Collector. Happy Tuesday to everybody. I hope you're having a good week so far and had a good Labor Day. I uh, wanted to do a quick video. I actually want to talk a little bit about how I got started. I'm going to open a pack in a little bit, but that'll be um, kind of cool because it kind of relates to when I started. But yeah, Mr. Fisherbike Jason is running a contest to describe and have a video about who influenced you to start doing your own YouTube channel or who maybe you have influenced. And I, I thought that was a, would be kind of fun to talk about. And since I'm not getting a ton of cards in the mail lately, uh, maybe just these kinds of videos are kind of fun to, to throw in there. Um, and again, I'll have some cards in a minute, but first thing I want to mention before I get into the, how I got started thing is tomorrow night, Wednesday night, I think it's going to be at eight ish central on Chasing Cardboard, we're gonna do our first live stream ever. If you are, if you enjoy my videos, Chasing Cardboard, whatever, you do not wanna miss it. I promise, that's all I can tell you. You'll wanna be there, yeah, tomorrow night. So go check out the Chasing Cardboard channel. The It's already up there in terms of uh, upcoming videos. So be a part of that, I will be there. I'll be on the stream with Ty. So anyway, back to the original point of this video, which is me talking about how I got started. And the reality is, I don't know that there, I can point out one single person that really influenced me to start doing my own videos. The reality is I watched a lot of content back in the day. I wish I could tell you exact dates and stuff like that, but I, w I was kind of that guy who watched videos occasionally for several years. And at some point, I, th I, I believe it was Puff Bear 359. And if you don't know who Puff Bear 359 is, <laughs> he is like mega old school in the community. I don't know if he makes videos anymore, but he would do, you know, card room tours and, and videos showing how he displays his items and all that kind of stuff. And I thought that was awesome. Even to this day, those are some of my favorite videos that I watch from anyone is how they set things up and how they display and catalog and you know their collecting journey basically so i saw his video and it was insane and i was like god i could do that you know i have some cool stuff maybe i could do that put it out there kind of see if anybody likes it and so i did and again as most of us start our videos are horrendous in the beginning we I have no idea really what we're doing. I certainly didn't. And I was like, I had a little handheld, I didn't even use my phone back then. I, I used a little handheld uh, flip camera thing. And the quality is awful, the sound is terrible, you name it, everything wrong, I did it. But you learn and you get better and you keep doing videos and you know, eventually it kind of works out. And what I've loved to see over the last, I don't know, three to five years is my ability to encourage others to start their own channels. And I'm, I've heard it a lot of times and I'm very grateful for it. People asking me my opinion, hey, I started a channel. Will you go watch it and kind of give me some feedback, give me some constructive criticism. And I'm always pretty honest with people and try to steer them in a direction that just makes sense. But the reality is we're all different. We all have unique personalities. We all have unique collections. And so what I try to tell people to do is just be yourself and that'll come across. And there's going to be people that like that and people that don't. And that's true of every channel. There's people that are fans and enjoy certain channels and don't like others. And then you'll find others that love the channels that you hate and hate the ones that you like. So it's, you can't please everybody. And so just being yourself is the, is the best formula. And again, over the last few years, having the opportunity to help other guys, encourage other guys, inspire other guys has, has been awesome. And that's actually uh, something that just brings a smile to my face, makes me feel like, okay, I'm contributing something beyond just what I'm putting out there in terms of content. So very fun. Uh, you're supposed to name one person. I I immediately thought of Chris from Missouri because he was somebody that was 
purely a lurker a few years ago and through my prodding, I suppose a little bit like, Hey, you need to show your stuff, like get out there. And I promise you, you will not regret it. You'll make all these friends. You'll, you'll be a part of this community. And it's, it's a wonderful thing to be more, everybody that watches is part of the community. Everybody that, if you don't make videos yourself, that's not a pre a prerequisite to being part of this community. You absolutely are. But, uh, it's, it's different when others can see what you collect and, you know, kind of join in the fun, right? So Chris from Missouri is the guy I would mention that I've influenced again. I, I know there are others and I wish I could tell them all, but Jason said only one name and Chris from Missouri was the one that kind of most recent one that kind of came to mind of guys that I feel like I've directly influenced and proud to have done so and honored that I get to call him a friend and to see how he's grown in this community and how many people enjoy them. I'm like, yep, that's the Chris I know. So good for you guys that y'all get to see that as well and see his collection and all that. Let me flip this around because I want to open this little pack. This is a basement collection find and it's not worth a lot of money. I just thought it'd be fun. So let me flip this around. We'll, we'll look at some cards. Hang on one second. All right, here we go. Uh, so what I I found a bunch of these and I thought it'd be fun to open one. Uh, this is a 1981 Topps Coca-Cola. It is a little pack of Kansas City Royals exclusive cards. I, I want to guess these were given away to game. That would make sense to me. Maybe at a grocery store when you bought some Coke, you got some of these. I don't know, but there's 11 stars this is not all 11 i wouldn't think it doesn't look like 11 cards it's like four or five but i'm gonna open this 81 was the year i started collecting and so anything 1981 always has a i love that kind of stuff so i'm gonna open these up let's see what we got here obviously we see willie wilson great legendary kansas city royal on the front there's the the just card on the back like a what this is actually it's like three cards so we got willie wilson amos otis and john wathen and then you've got hey you can get this uh the press sheet never offered before uncut 132 cards 1981 just send four dollars plus your name and address and you could get that's pretty cool seems pretty smart to do that um yeah these were uh, so individually numbered to 11 for the team set. I would imagine that, you know, obviously George Brett would be a big card in this. I don't know if I have any of those. I don't know how to tell the coalition and see, but I have a ton of these that are unopened and I just thought I'd open one up here and see if, see what they look like pulled out. So that's it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one. We'll talk to you soon. Keep collecting.